never become ashamed of your battles mm -mm. it is common to all men fight the marital battles with dignity fight the academic battles with dignity I know that you may be an orphan stand in integrity and fight the fight of faith don't act as if you are is, is a unique thing oh you are a man of God and probably it looks like ministry is not growing don't be ashamed stand tall and fight it with dignity I'm a man of God but four of my children are wayward and it's, it's a bad testimony don't worry many are the afflictions of the righteous you fight with faith lord i dedicated these children to god almighty now i hear that they are drinking all around and wasting their life i call upon the one who turns the affliction of the righteous and you begin to pray and sometimes you may be discouraged and you find comfort within the body of believers listen let me advise you and I'm doing this by responsibility. Let me advise you. Make sure as a believer, you do not add to the pain of people in church. Are we together now? When you hear that people are going through things and issues in their lives, your assignment is not to be a rumor monger multiplying people's pain. Okay, yes, the child is behaving. He's not a responsible person. He's all around doing all kinds of things. What can we do as a contribution? That's a believer's response. I may not know the family, but let's hold hands and invest a two minutes prayer. Oh Lord, for the sake of your name, let this man of God not see shame. And all of a sudden, they will tell you that the child came for koinonia. And it did, did not matter what overflow he was seated. That the power of God fetched him out and that was the end of that demonic thing. And you watch that one soul now becoming Paul. listen i don't claim to know everything but let me tell you sincerely i have watched god transform people i have watched people's night become day i have watched the relegated in every dimension become nobles become people of dignity and honor creator of the universe what can you do? What can you do? Jesus. One more time. Listen. He's the creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus. Can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, look at me. If you had seen some of us, maybe some 15, 17, 18 years ago, you would never imagine that would be the same people being used by God. I don't know who has concluded about you. I don't know what devil. I know you may not carry a semblance of the palace, but when you are chosen, you are chosen. It's as simple as that. The lifter of men, the lifter of men, the one who can wipe away the tears of men. Listen, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you something good can come out of Nazareth. Whatever Nazareth means to you, apostle right now, I'm in a network of all kinds of problems. I have financial problems. Maybe I'm suffering with the police, maybe in ministry. Perhaps you've not even been doing ministry properly. You are just playing all kinds of games around ministry and things have not been working well and your life has plunged down right now like Samson. I assure you provided you can answer that name righteous. 
my bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous mama hear me i know you have cried and you have cried over your children cried over your job promotion that is due 10 20 years you've not been lifted you are looking for promotion when god is talking of restoration there is a big difference between promotion and restoration promotion means to go higher restoration means to gain time to be brought back to where you would have been hallelujah i want you to believe this because the next five minutes i'm going to pray and prophesy over your life from the depth of my spirit we have been given the grace to bless to speak and to create possibilities this is the assignment of the prophetic and listen don't you sit down and say apostle you don't know the trouble i'm in i'm owing 10 billion 100 days even if it's 10 naira it's still faith that will bring you out Apostle, can I rise again as a man of God? I started walking in the prophetic, but I got, I dappled into all kinds of things. And right now, it looks like that grace is not there. We're wrongly mentored and we're just playing games. Provided you answer that name righteous, something can still happen. How about those trusting God for the fruit of the womb? How about those trusting God to end all kinds of yokes and curses? family curses marital curses financial curses ministerial curses this is why he sent you here this one thing i know about god is that god lifts is that god restores is that god is able to wipe the tears of men that you look at your former self and you cannot even know again that people look at your life and your life becomes a salmon everybody who looks at your life a series can come out of your life and people can say you mean this is what god can do everything i've said is found in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of god I will hold on through the storm I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of man The lifter of man No matter what I'm going through I will hold on through the storm I will hold the lifter of man. 